Okay, welcome back everyone. Live coverage here in San Francisco. The Cube is live at Google Next at Moscone. I'm John Furrier, Rob Strecce. We got Lisa Martin, we got Dustin Kirkland. Team coverage of Google Next. We're getting in, talking to the experts, the leaders, customers, and getting all the data and sharing with you on the Cube. We're joined by Christina Baer, VP of Product Management Collaboration Apps at Google, which is like workspaces, everything we know and love about the Google App Suite. Christina, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> so as we've been talking yesterday about the demo that went on about the Duet AI and, and workspaces involved, but the, the bigger picture is it's the roadmap of Google is pretty clear. So there's a lot of speeds and feeds, a lot of solutions out there, good stuff, but the AI cloud is kind of coming. You kind of see it. We're, we're using that term, I guess you guys don't say that directly, but it's essentially the AI suite coming. Yeah. So, if you're like under the age of 30, the people out there, <laughs> they were using Google Apps in middle school. Yep. And so you have a whole cultural shift going on in the world of workspace, collaboration, and developers. So we kind of pointed out yesterday, so workspace is really like a, a nice feather on the cap for Google Cloud, uh, and it drives a lot of revenue, a lot of customer engagement, yep. it's a key product. Uh, absolutely, I am so excited about the innovation that we're delivering with inside of Google Workspace. So um, as you probably know, Google Workspace is the most popular productivity app, uh, a suite of applications. We have three billion users worldwide, uh, 10 million paying customers. And yesterday we were so excited to announce the general availability of our new Duet AI SKU for our enterprise customers. Um, we in, in order to kind of come up to this point, we announced in March um, our trusted tester program where we had one million people participate in trying out the new Duet AI capabilities, everything from help me write in Gmail, in Docs, image generation inside of slides so that you can tell a compelling story, and then ways of creating you know, new tables and project management with inside of Sheets. So that trusted program, just to kind of double click on it real quick, it's kind of like, I won't say beta, but you're opening up the app for customers to use it. Absolutely. Up, what you said, a million, how many? A, a million. A million Yeah, customers. we had a million, a million people, and they run the gamut. We had large enterprises that are global, all the way down to you know, very small businesses and consumers trying out our product. Nice little sample size there uh, for you guys. What it, did you learn from that? Um, uh, tons, something? tons. So you know, we, we, um, we had a, cu a couple of customers join us in, in some panels yesterday. So um, some of the notable customers are Adore Me. They are, they're using, uh, Duet AI in order to write product descriptions. So they have copywriters who are now kind of freed up to go work on higher impact marketing campaigns instead of doing something that they yeah. don't like. Yeah. <laughs> like on these more repetitive <laughs> repetitive tasks and we, uh, the not yeah. worldwide is okay. another so, another customer of ours. So that's the big thing. It makes people more productive. Exactly. I, I think everybody's fear is that AI is replacing us, and I, I think we, we're very bullish on AI. Of so yeah, I, we're yeah. Of I course. think you know, from that perspective, it's about productivity. A hundred percent. You know, we we start with our design process by understanding like what are people using workspace yeah. today for, yeah. and how can we just make them more efficient, and really try to take the drudgery out of work. Yeah, the Google word we were joking yesterday is toil. We heard that a lot <laughs> from the Googlers. <laughs> toil is like all the the grunt work or the heavy lifting. Yeah. And it's boring. So or repetitive tasks. Right. You know, one of the things in the Duet AI demo that blew us away, and we were talking about all day yesterday, and it's kind of very nuanced. If you, you got, it's, it's more of a, if you look at it and stare at it, and if you understand how data works, doing that what you guys did was so incredible because you cross multiple apps yep. with first party access, but also solve the problem, and explain that demo for the folks who didn't see it, and if they go online in the keynote, you can see it's, it's yeah. a great demo, but it really highlights, one, productivity, but what it's actually doing is real, real yep. hard AI that solves a problem. A hundred percent. So what we announced was uh, Duet AI available in a new side panel. And this side panel will be available in all of the major flagship apps across workspace. And so Duet AI, I mean having an AI in your, in your sort of productivity apps is one thing, but I think the real magic and the power is if it understands you. It understands your email, it understands all the files in your drive corpus. So some of the examples could be, yeah. you know, hey, update me on Q3 performance. And it would understand all of your emails emails, all the files that you have been provisioned to, and, and kind of create that summary. Um, so we're really excited about what we call corpus understanding. Yeah, and the thing that was cool was on one demo, went with Gmail, and it got all the alerts, and problem, ticket items, or whatever it was from a, from a service, and then understood it. That's right. And fixed it. That's yeah. right, like, yeah. That would have been like, look at every single item, synthesize it, just the cognitive relief 100%. alone 
was off the charts. Yeah, 100%. And like, you know, think about how much time that saves every person, you know? And like, and how much time that you can then divert into doing things that humans do best. Um, the, the other big productivity advancements that we're making is around meetings. So I don't know if you saw the, the demos that, that we did there, but you know, like oftentimes in, in, in group settings, you designate one person to be the note taker. Mm -hmm. And so how can do at AI take notes for the group so that people can focus on meaningful discussions um, and things like that. So we're What's been about. the response, Christina, on the privacy? Um, are people scared to have their email? Like, I don't yeah. want to know my dark secrets. <laughs> I'm like, oh. It's like okay. going to therapy. It's like, oh, look at my, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, mean, it, I can see the value, but I can see people on the other side of the coin saying, whoa, what's the privacy, what's the security? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think one of the amazing things about the way that Google Workspace has been architected is that privacy and security has been baked in from the very beginning. So when you are using Duet AI, it only knows the things that you have access to, and then when you get a response from the model, it, um, you know, it, you you get to decide whether to insert it into your doc or not. So like, your data is your data. Anything that you put into the model, that your prompts, your outputs, it's not going to be shared with hackable. anyone. It's yeah, and 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 because of we we just don't have the um, security vulnerabilities of legacy software. So you know, I think we we've been doing this for a while, so, and I think the deep investment in yeah, infrastructure. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so is it is it an individual model per business? I guess you could say, or is it it's like you're making copies of the, the model, so yeah. it's almost, hey, here's, we, we put this off to the side, this is their model, this is their data, we train, we continue to train the model on their data, very similar to some of the other stuff in Vertex AI. And it's, it's, it's a little bit different, and, and maybe this is kind of a nuanced conversation, yeah. but, um, so we have one base model that yeah. is tuned for workspace use cases, mm -hmm. and then when and we will pass personal context, so that context is never fed back into the model, okay. and that's how we protect uh, the, the privacy. Yeah, I think that's important to yeah, understand, exactly. because it's, it's different from how Vertex works. Yes, and yeah. Different copies of the model, right. and I think that's, people want to understand that yeah, as that's well. Right. So and that's I think great. one of the advantages of our approach is that it's at the file level, right? Yeah. So like, okay. uh, your model responses will be different from mine, even if we work at the same company. Yeah. The chat has some upgrades too. Talk about the chat. Yeah, chat, yeah. Chat. So you know, chat of course, you know, is going to still be great <laughs> at the basics, but we're building it yeah. for the future. And some of the things are, Duet AI is coming to chat, so you can add it to a conversation. You know, specifically ask it questions about about your corpus. Um, we are increasing um, the size of spaces to five hundred thousand. And another big one that I'm excited about is we're in introducing these huddles where you can drop into voice or video conversations yep. with your colleagues without having to schedule a meeting. Does it summarize meetings? Can you summarize meetings with the yeah, new product? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so, so Duet AI in that take notes for me feature is 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 part of that. And so, if you you right. can even have Duet <laughs> attend a meeting for you. Yeah. And so, if you join late, it'll sign me up can, for that one. I know, I know, right? I think all of us are super excited you know, about that. I, I've always loved the day when we'd have real, true digital assistants, virtual yes. assistants, and like that could actually reason, get what you're working on know what spam is, where the priorities are, mm -hmm. and you guys kind of have that now in Gmail, see some of that going on. Yep. But I can see AI getting better. Where do, you, where do you see the roadmap of that coming on? Because I think that's going to be like the ultimate holy grail, where I have yeah. almost duet, is actually driving a lot of my work that an assistant might help me with, or yeah. uh, a productivity coach, or yeah. a life coach. I yeah. can see that kind of going down that road. How do you see that crossing over? Because I got, I got my productivity apps, I also got my health apps. Yep. You know, I got multiple balance, trying to balance my life, I work a lot hard. How do, I, how do you see that crossing over multiple apps? Yeah, I, I mean, that's the vision for Duet AI is that it helps you and is, is your thought partner, source of inspiration, efficiency booster across all of, the, all of the apps, right? And the fact that it's grounded in all of your workspace data, I think it's like super powerful. The question I wanted to ask you, and this was the one that wasn't uh, on my mind until I saw the demo, was if you look at the AI developer right now, yeah. most, really young, the demographics are shifting lower. Yeah. I'm not saying that old people like us aren't working on AI stuff, because we, <laughs> we have AI, but, but, but it's, it's very entrepreneurial vibe right now. Yeah. Silicon Valley, certainly all around the world. So if, if you're under 30, you've been using Google Docs yeah. suites since middle school. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and for most young people, don't even use other suites, uh, old school software models. So, 
do you see that as an onboarding for those developers to be using the um, software tools that will power the developer outreach, not just productivity, but yep. I can see the interfaces be cleaner on for the, some of the developer suites. You guys have great UI. Yep. How do you see workspaces being that front end for the developer yep. productivity? Yeah, 100%. Like, users have been, grew up with workspace. And like as you, as you think about also organizations as they're trying to attract the best talent, you want to give people the tools that they're, they're used to. So I, I, like I completely agree as a, as a great onboarding experience <laughs> for you at AI. Is there anything coming that you think that's going to be released soon on, from a developer perspective? Um, I think well, we have a lot of capabilities to create add-ons and plugins into the into the uh, Google Workspace. So, like we respect that there's going to be a ton of innovation in AI and otherwise, and we want people to be able to experience that yeah. um, from from Workspace. I was going to say, how is the ecosystem around Workspaces? How you know, again with those plugins and things like that? Yeah. yeah, is that something that you actively go and recruit, or is it just? people come to that and build their build into the APIs. Yeah, we're, we're so excited yeah. about the partners that, that we have. So um, like Jasper is, is one, like we we know that, you know, I think their, their application is they have a lot of marketers who are using it to create content from, from Workspace and we're excited about it, right? That, that they're like serving our mutual customers so well. Well, you guys are definitely getting the headlines for sure, even though we kind of talk about some of the other stuff like the, the TPUs right behind us, which we like. But yeah. What's been the most biggest surprise from the event here for you? Because a lot of people are going crazy for the, the news. They love the AI. Yeah. It's a consumer-like experience, but it's not. It's got a lot of data in there. It's threaded through BigQuery and a lot of extensions, yeah. as you mentioned. What's yeah, been the big surprise? I, I, maybe this is not a surprise, but I think the thing that has given me so much energy is to like, recognize at this event that Google is a full stack AI company, right? From the AI accelerated hardware to the proprietary large language models, all the way to these like these like finished apps, enterprise apps, like, like Google Workspace. And how can we tie that all together to deliver real value yeah. for customers? And the other thing I've, I've noticed, we were talking yesterday, is more, a lot of solutions too coming yeah. together. Yeah. And, yeah. and you're in the solutions business, obviously. Yeah, totally, totally. And I'm also a really lazy engineer, so the fact that my peers <laughs> are creating such great tech that we can incorporate <laughs> into Workspace. I'm like, great. You know, Lazy is also someone who's productive and doesn't that's work right, That's right, that's right. Which is why I was going to say, you're focused that. on productivity, <laughs> not, not lazy. Exactly. <laughs> my son said, Dad, I'm smarter. I work smarter than him. No, I think yeah. yeah. <laughs> You can tell my mom about that too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm super excited for you guys. I think, I think the numbers too on the revenue side speak to the success of yeah. Google Cloud and having that apps. Um, and so as you guys go forward, what's your goals for your group? Next 12 months, what are your key yeah. goals and objectives? I, mean, I just really want to bring Duet AI to those three billion customers, right? I think we have such power to make people's lives easier, better, um, you know, and I just think that we're in just a great position to do that. So I'm, I'm just excited to hear customer feedback. How, how do they get it? How do they get Duet AI in their productivity apps? Is yeah. it something they click on, they go through the ad, the admin goes in and adds it in? Or? That's right, yeah. I mean, yes. we, we ha there's a URL that I don't remember off the top of my head yeah, that people good. can go in yeah. and just sign up for a free trial of Duet AI yeah. um, that just gets added to your admin, admin console. Yeah. Excellent. And everyone gets it. Um, or so I the, the, it. Yeah, the admin gets to decide who in their organization Got it. gets and it. And they can opt out if they don't want it. Of so, course, okay. yeah, of All course. Right. They're, they're in complete control. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for coming on the Cube. Really appreciate it. For the folks watching, put a plug in for Duet AI. What's, what should they know about it? What's the key? most important story that you want to share with the audience? Yeah, no, we're just excited for Duet AI to be your real-time collaborative AI partner. Awesome, well thanks for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. And congratulations for a great demo. Thank and you. Looking forward to uh, indexing my uh, life <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and <we're>, my apps. <laughs> we're here <we're> too. <laughs> and the next clean up all billion. my files. <laughs> exactly. Clean up all my files and create folders for me. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. We're on it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming on, appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Christine Baer, Vice President of Product Management Collab of Workspaces and all the apps on Google Cloud. It's theCUBE, we're at the more live coverage after the short break, stay with us.